here I've got a netted necklace that I'm going to show you how to make using 4mm and 6mm glass beads. You can see one here in a plain colour. I'm actually going to show you how to make it in the two colours just so it's easier for you to, to see what I'm doing. I'm using check glass beads here. I've got 4mm in the blue and the 6mm in the black, as I said, just so you can actually see more easily the, the large and the small beads as I'm making it. I've got a small magnetic clasp and a couple of collots for joining that onto the necklace. I'm using a nylon thread. You can use a needle and thread, something like Nymo or Superlon if you prefer. I'm just going to use this plain nylon today. And I've got some pliers. These are multi pliers. I'm just going to be using the flat part of those for squeezing the collots together, and that's all we need the tools for today. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to thread six beads, alternating between the large and the small. So, large, small. Large, small, large, small. I'm just going to move that one out of the way so we've got room to work. So I've got six beads on there. I'm going to take the nylon thread around the outside of this blue 4mm bead and thread it back up through that black 6mm bead. I'll show you. Oops, like that. Okay, so it's coming back up in the same direction as the other thread. I'm then going to add three more beads, working small, large, small. So in my case, it's the blue one with a four millimeter, the black six millimeter, and then a blue four millimeter. And I'm going to, you can see how it's coming together now. I'm going to come back through this black bead coming up towards me. Okay, because what we do is we zigzag up and down the brace, uh, up and down the necklace. Okay. I'm then going to add again three beads: small, large, and small. And then I'm going to go round and start coming back down. So I'm going to thread down through this larger black one there. Once we've gone up and down a couple of times, you can start to see the pattern coming and it actually is much easier then to follow. So it's again three beads, small, large, small is always just those three beads that we add on each time. Okay, and now we're back down the bottom again. So I'm going to come round that small blue bead and back up the black one like we did last time. So up through here. and then pull it all tight. So you've got like two little legs currently at the moment. Again, three beads. Small, large, small. And this time I'm coming through this black one up towards me. Okay. So it's starting to take shape now. So now we're going to go back down. So again, it's small, large, small. Now you can use different size beads on this. You don't have to use 4mm and 6mm. You can use, as long as you've got two different sizes, you get the effect. Coming back down. I mean, you can use, say, if you want a smaller overall necklace, you can use a 4mm and perhaps a size 8 rock eye. Or if you want it larger, you can use larger beads. Okay, so this again is like one of the little legs. So I've got down to the bottom, the thread's going to come round that blue bead and back up the black one towards me. And you should now start to see it taking some shape. So again, three beads. And back up here. Okay. And you really just carry on in the same fashion until you've done the whole length of the necklace. I'm going to show you now how to add on another thread because obviously you can't work with a long enough thread to do the whole necklace. So this is, imagine this is the end of my thread. I can't work any further. So I've got a new thread. 
I'm going to start tying a knot in that so I've got a loop but I'm not going to pull that loop tight. I'm going to pass the thread I was working with through that loop. Then I'm going to pull that knot tight so I've essentially got a knot with my old thread passing through the middle of it. That knot will then slide very easily down tight against the last bead you used. And my two tail ends, my new tail end and my old tail end, I'm just going to knot together. I tend to do a couple of knots just to be on the safe side. Now because this is nylon, the knots can slip undone. So the best thing to do is a little dab of glue or a little dab of clear nail varnish on the knot will just set the knot before you trim the ends off. And then you just carry on in the same way with your new thread. Once you've got all the way around, obviously it depends on how tight you want the necklace to be, things like that, then you just need to add the clasp. So I'll bring this one in. So this is the length I want it to be. And I'm now going to add the clasp. And I'm going to use these collots. I don't know if you've used these before, but if not, they look a bit like a little oyster shell, an open oyster shell with a loop on the end. And the basic idea is you tie a knot in the end of the thread and the knot actually sits inside that little oyster shell and then you squeeze it closed. So, now again with the knots on these, I'm going to do two knots just so I've got a bit more knot for the, the collot to grip to. And normally I would put a dab of nail varnish on it and let it dry before I put it in the oyster shell, but obviously I don't want to leave you hanging around waiting. So I've got my knot. So the knot just sits inside that oyster shell and you can squeeze it close with your fingers. If you want to give it a little bit of a tighter squeeze, I've got pliers here. I'm going to use the flat part and just squeeze that there around the collot. And then you can trim off the excess. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to do a double knot. And then I will put the oyster shell around it. You can trim off the, the tail end either before or after you put the collot on. It's just up to you. So squeeze it with my fingers first. Then with a the flat ply, just give it another little squeeze. Trim off the excess. Once you've got the collots on there, you've basically got a loop on either end of the necklace and you can use any type of clasp that you prefer. I've just got one of these small magnetic ones today. So the loop on the collot, I'm going to join to the loop on that clasp and then I'm going to use the round part of these pliers just to close that loop up. Okay. Trouble with the magnetic clasp is it does unfortunately stick to your pliers while you're trying to work with it. But once it's on, they're very simple to use. Again, round part the pliers to join that up. And there we go, we've got a clasp on the necklace.